Let's begin our new endeavor on solving problems with percents. You'll need a calculator on this. So if you want to get one ready, push pause, go get your calculator. All right. Let's begin. Percents um, really aren't difficult at all. You'll see. We'll read the word problems and it lays it out for us. And um, you see how, how simple it is. Sean has a test in four out of six of his classes on Friday. What percentage of his classes does Sean have tests in? Four out of six. Four over six. You write it as a fraction. And then it's also division, right? Four divided by six. Four divided by six, you're gonna divide it out. Four divided by six. 0.66666, we're gonna round it to the nearest hundredth. So, 0.67 in decimal form. Percent, that's 67 hundredths, 67 percent per 100. What percentage of classes does Sean have tests in? 67 percent. See how simple it is? We'll do more like this. You won't, you'll have more practice before you're stuck with those two on your own. Now we're going to look at circle graphs and we're going to determine the percent of each one. One of these is 8 25 Remember how this is also division, 8 divided by 25. This one is 1 ninth. Remember it's also division, 1 divided by 9. Take the calculator and divide it out. It's 0 0.11111. So that's point. Oops, that was not a point, that was a one. 0 0.11. So it's 11 hundredths in decimal form, 11%. We've got number three, 20 60 ninths. 20 divided by 69. Point two eight nine, so it's going to round up, rounding to the nearest hundred, so it's point two nine. Twenty nine hundredths in decimal form is twenty nine percent. I'm going to say that um, eleven percent, twenty nine percent. Um, that's probably going to be the biggest. I'll say that this one is definitely 11% right here. And then I'm going to say this one is 29%. Yes. And then you can determine these two after you solve the percents. We've got another circle graph or pie graph underneath. This, this section is so small, you can't even write the percent inside of it. We'll do 5, 7, and 8. 5 is 24 40 ninths. 24 divided by 49. 24 divided by 49. It's 0.4. We round it up to 0.49. 49 hundredths in decimal form is 49%. One divided by 100. 1 divided by 100. That would be 0 0.01 one hundredths in decimal form, 1% per 100. Finally, 19 fiftieths. It's 19 divided by 50. Point three eight. 38 hundredths, 38 percent. I'm going to say that this one is obviously 1 percent. It's the smallest. One is about 50 percent. That would be this one. This one's 49 percent. And then this one is bigger than that one. 
38%. It's over a third is that one. So you'll finish the rest on this, this section right here. On the second page, we'll do three of them together. And let's start with number three. Henry plays baseball for Toros. He's their best hitter. He's gotten a hit 135 times out of 150 at bat. What is Henry's hitting percentage? 135 times out of 150. This is a fraction and it's division. 135 divided by 150. Ah, decimal form is 0.9. That's 9 tenths in percent would be 90 percent. 0.09 would be 9 percent. 0.9 is 90. Just like 0.9 is 90 cents. All right, on over to number five and six. The library had a book sale on Saturday. It put 400 books out for sale. Of those books, 64 were mystery books. What percentage of the books were mystery? So altogether, there were 400. There were 64 mystery. Let's divide it out. 64 divided by 400. 64 divided by 400. And decimal form is 16 hundredths, which is easily translated to 16%. Let's look at number six. Sam's first day of track practice was Monday. Coach wanted the team to run eight laps in 10 minutes. When time was up, Sam had run seven laps. What percent of the laps did Sam run? What percent of the laps? He was supposed to run eight laps. That was the total amount he was supposed to run, but he only ran seven laps. So what percent of the laps did he run? Seven eighths, seven divided by eight. When we round that to the nearest hundredth, we get 0 0.88, 88 hundredth of a, 88 hundredths, Rounds to becomes 88%. Now, using the same format, you can do these three and these two, and then don't forget these. 